Are your photos scattered across your phone, tablet and computer, making it feel impossible to keep everything organized? Don't worry, I've got you covered with my top tips to organizing your photos across multiple devices. A phone, a computer, a tablet, we've got them all. Gone are the days where you had everything in one place. So let me help you manage it. Also, I've got a game-changing tip at the end to make your photo organizing routine so much easier. So stick around. Tip one, use cloud storage for syncing across devices. If you're working with photos on multiple devices, the best way to ensure your photos are always accessible is by using cloud storage. Services like Google Photos, iCloud, and OneDrive and Dropbox are designed to automatically sync your photos across your phone, tablet, and computer. For example, when you take a photo on your phone, it will automatically appear in your tablet and your computer through the cloud. This means you never have to worry about manually transferring files between devices. Using a cloud service is especially useful if you are traveling and want to access your entire photo library without having to carry an external hard drive or transferring files via a USB. Once set up, it's all automatic, making photo organization a breeze. Tip two, set up consistent folder structures. Having a consistent folder structure across your devices is a game changer when it comes to staying organized. Whether you're on your phone, laptop or desktop, make sure you use the same folder naming conventions. For example, you might organize by year and then by event. So 2004, holiday in Spain, and then 2004, Sarah's birthday party. This way, regardless of which device you're using, you'll always know where to find your specific photos. If you're using photo management apps like Mylio or Photo Mechanic, you can even use smart collections that automatically organize your photos based on metadata, like dates or locations. This will save you time in manually organizing files across multiple devices. Tip three, centralize backup in one location. With photos spread across multiple devices, it's important to have a centralized backup strategy. Choose one cloud service or external hard drive to be your main backup location. For example, you could use Google Drive, OneDrive or Dropbox as your primary cloud backup, while also backing up to a physical drive like a Western Digital My Passport. By centralizing your backup, you'll avoid having multiple copies of the same photos scattered around. It also reduces the risk of losing your photos due to device failure or data corruption. Remember, having one primary location ensures your backups are reliable and easy to access when needed. Tip four, use automatic backup. No one likes manually backing up files. And in fact, let's be honest, if you have to do it manually, the likelihood of it happening regularly is, well, not that likely. Thankfully, most photo management apps have automatic backup features that make it simple. Whether you're using Google Photos, Apple Photos, OneDrive or Dropbox, all of these services offer automatic syncing features that run in the background. For instance, with Google Photos, OneDrive and Dropbox, you can enable automatic uploads in the app settings, which means all new photos will be taken and automatically backed up to the cloud. Tip five, use the same photo management app on all devices. Consistency is the key when managing your photo collection across multiple devices. One of the easiest ways to stay organized is to use the same photo management app on all of your devices. Apps like Google Photos, Apple Photos, or Mylio allow you to manage, edit, and sort your photos in the same environment, no matter what device you're using. For example, if you're an Apple user, Apple Photos seamlessly syncs your photos between your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. You can make edits on your iPhone and those changes will automatically update on your Mac. If you prefer a more advanced editing tool, Adobe Lightroom and Mylio allow you to edit, categorize, and tag photos across your phone, tablet, and computer with everything syncing in real time. Tip six, sync your edits across devices. 
Have you ever edited a photo only to realize the edited version isn't showing up on your computer? That's because not all photo management systems sync edits across devices. Avoid this by using a system that automatically syncs your edits across your devices. For example, with Google Photos and Apple Photos, any edits you make on one device will be reflected on all other devices. The same goes for apps like Adobe Lightroom, where changes are stored in the cloud and updated everywhere you log in. But only if you're syncing to Adobe Cloud. This not only keeps your photos consistent, but also ensures you don't waste time re-editing the same image on different devices. Tip seven, create a device-specific cleanup routine. Each of your devices might collect a different type of photo. For example, your phone might have your casual photos like selfies and quick snapshots, while your computer stores more curated collections like family albums or work-related images. To keep on top of everything, create a specific cleanup routine for each device. For instance, you might decide to declutter your phone's photo gallery every Sunday while tackling your computer photos once a month. By breaking down the tasks, it becomes more manageable and prevents a buildup of unnecessary files. My game changing tip. And here it is, the game changer. Create a master photo library on one device that acts as your central hub for all of your photos. From here, you can sync to your cloud service or external storage, making sure you always have access to the best organized version of your photo collection across all of your devices. This will streamline your process and ensure that your collection stays organized and accessible no matter where you are. So managing your photos across multiple devices doesn't have to be a headache if you follow these best practices. But what is the best cloud storage for your photos? Check out this video next to find out. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and a subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.